Scrolling on my Instagram feed one day, I see an ad pop up for a fashion brand. And I thought right away, I was like, oh, this is where Cassie and Maddie shop from Euphoria, obviously. And then, you know, it also says the future of fashion, AI. Immediately I click on it. <laughs> um, it's so cute. Why is this stuff so cute? What the heck? I don't know. They know that their stuff looks like stuff from Euphoria. Like they got their marketing down. Listen, listen, listen. Finesse is Zendaya, shaking up the Hollywood Belle stereotype with her beautiful brown skin. Finesse is Bella with a lollipop and Gigi with a headscarf. Finesse doesn't give a fuck about opinions because Finesse isn't afraid to be themselves. Finesse is sustainable because people messed up this earth for long enough. Finesse makes you break up with your girlfriend because she's bored. Finesse doesn't believe in gender. Finesse clearly doesn't care about your preconceived notions of beauty, sis. Finesse is Hunter Schaefer and Barbie Ferriera, sorry, on a neon night out. And that's really sweet. I really like the last uh, one. I, I mean, like, I, it's all very, like, it's so fun, so edgy, so metaphorical, so poetic. But I want to know more logistics. But let me tell you the coolest part so far. I'm trying to gauge right now, honestly, if I think that they're legit, like in terms of sustainability. So when I click into this, I immediately see that it's the future of fashion and it says that it's being made with AI. So very interesting. It's also claiming to be sustainable for that same reason. Hey guys, it's me again, but in a different universe. I just have to give a word from the sponsor of today's video, which is Vitacap. Yes, cap means mushrooms, baby. <laughs> Let's talk about mushrooms. Okay, so um, Vitacap actually offers beautiful and actually surprisingly really tasty daily mushroom supplement gummies okay and i have them right here i have been obsessed ever since i've gotten them let me tell you about the benefits of their mushroom blend we as humans have been loving the enjoying the benefits of medicinal and functional mushrooms for literal eons and um if you guys haven't tapped into what a functional you know mushroom blend can do for you I really want you guys to try it because I myself have even noticed just an overall balance in myself, my energy. It also really helps to strengthen your immune function. So we all need that, right? Especially in this day and age, we need that healthy, strong immune system. But they look like these cute little, they look like little gumdrops. They're so cute. Um, but like cute little like gummies and like the perfect gumminess too. They're not like... I don't know, they're like, kind of like juicy gummy, they're like the little fruit snacks you would eat as a kid, like they're that yummy. Like, I have to hold myself back from eating these, I swear. Vitacap offers all of these mushrooms, okay? It has, I'm gonna pronounce some of these wrong, okay? I swear. Lion's mane, turkey tail, reishi, chaga, cor cordyceps. I'm looking that one up, okay? I just have to know how that's supposed to be. Oh, I said it right. Powerful, functional mushrooms, and they are grown under optimal conditions by their experts. And these gummies actually contain apple cider vinegar as well, which we love that for boosting your immune function as well, um, promoting detox, boosting your metabolism. Um, there's just so many awesome things about these gummies. So if you guys feel like you kind of want a little bit more balance in your life, a little bit more immune support, a little bit more energy, um, definitely try these out they're actually offering through my code a 20% off discount for you all so um, definitely use my code and the link down below if you're interested they're super yummy you're not gonna regret it the the code is just Blair in all caps and you get 20% off try them out and let me know what you think because I really I just I'm a mushroom girl okay I'm already the mushroom girl love to eat mushrooms love to see mushrooms <laughs> Love to feel much. All right, so um, check out Vitacap and thank you so, so much to Vitacap for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to the juicy stuff. Okay, so it says, we only produce what you want. Vote now and items are sh ready for shipment within two weeks. Um, and it's like, you can, you know, you have all these options, it's two coats and a two piece outfit. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and vote. I like the two piece outfit the best. Um, 
And then it tells you the numbers. So, you know, however many people voted for each thing. And then they, what they do is the time you are the creative director and we produce what you want. Okay, so they're like, you know, directly going to the consumer and saying, what would you wear? What would you buy? Pretty sustainable, meaning, you know, they're not making things that people aren't going to buy. They're not guessing, you know, you know, what should we create? Still, does it really mean you're actually sustainable? Um, sustainable AF, we use AI to predict how much to produce, no waste, no overages, and no pollution. So, okay, and they ship worldwide. And you guys, I mean, are you seeing these prices right now? These prices are not crazy as, you know, sustainable, actually sustainable brands are. Um, and I mean, let's see um, what we got here. So my next question, right, is to go in and see what they're made of. So we got this nice little simple white crop top. So let's see material. 95% polyester at this top. So you guys, what I really, really wanted to do and look into, I mean, obviously $16, yeah, that makes sense, right? It makes total sense. That top is not gonna last you very long at all though. <laughs> well, it'll last you for like, you know, three or four years, but that's about it. That's why I look for things that are mainly cotton. Um, so these guys, these pants, they're $39 and they're 98% cotton. So that, I really, really like that. I really like anything that's over 70% cotton. I'm like, woo woo woo. It's also only $39 for these pair of pants. What do they feel like? What do they look like? You know, like, so I ordered some, woo. And I actually have a whole little haul to show you guys today. So I'm excited. Um, I actually have been holding myself back from opening these because they came in yesterday. Uh, what do we wanna do first? Okay, honestly, I'm gonna do the jeans first. Let's do the jeans first. I got a size small, okay? I always don't know what to expect when jeans come in small, medium, large, okay? So, let's just... Right off the bat, they do kind of feel like rough like vintage denim obviously because they're not but they do feel like nice and thick but I mean the seams and everything I mean they look let me just try them on and not say anything yet let me just try them on okay so they're not too well they're I mean they're touching the ground but like not too long for me to wear okay wow guys actually so I wasn't sure if these are actually going to fit my waist, but I am in that time of my life where I'm changing jean sizes just by grooming and changing my curve, so. If it's pretty snugly, I do feel that kind of like stretchiness about them though. feel like I will have to wear a belt for sure, just because they are that stretchy material that throughout the day, they'll definitely be getting looser. It's just that one small amount of spandex that's in them. I really do enjoy the flare. Like I haven't had jeans that are this flared in so long. Okay, so this kind of took me a long time to figure out. <laughs> I hope that this doesn't get demonetized. The tits are fully the structure for this one. Fully the structure. And I honestly don't know if it looks good on mine because they're so big. It looks cute from the back though. It looks super cute from the back. Maybe I just need to do it in different pants though. Maybe it's the pants that are making it weird for me. I don't know. I don't know, but it is 100% cotton. So that's why I picked this one. And it's not like crazy tight or anything too, which I like. It does have a cute little cinch in the back right there. Well, hello. I've been waiting. So I'm going to change green pants time, baby. So. I'm honestly obsessed. Um, they are kind of tight around my, like just right here in my inner thigh area. I think it's just because I've been doing a lot of quad stuff. <laughs> but I think these are groovy as hell. I'm actually so excited that I got these babies. Okay, y'all, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Kind of hard to shake your ass in too if you're, if you're on the thicker side. <sighs> Damn, I feel like I'm about to rip them. 
love you. That's not a good feeling. But I love them too much to send them back. I love them too much to send them back. These are actually the same size as the other ones, right? But they fit me better. So fucking cute. These are amazing. <laughs> I'm obsessed. So this is a motherfucking mini dress. That's too fucking short. <laughs> I think that my bust is a little too big for like the tiny little space that it has. Like this is just better for smaller bust girls, I think. But I honestly might end up giving this to my friend because I think it would like look better on her body. It's so freaking cute though. I mean, it's definitely a cute little dress. Definitely like the cheapest thing that I've tried on yet. Like it's definitely feels the most spandexy of all the things. Honestly, if y'all see me wear this, it's probably never gonna be in public. <laughs> it's gonna be only like maybe for an Instagram picture. Nonetheless, I mean, it's cute. I really like the color. I love a good powder blue. I still just don't really know. I want to know more. Like I want to know where they're sourcing everything from, for example. But I just, I want more transparency. <laughs> so if they're really all that sustainable, why aren't they giving us a little bit more transparency other than just saying we use AI so we're sustainable, you know? That being said, I love the fucking clothes, dude. Hi, it's ending Hannah here. I just wanted to say that I feel like the worst case scenario for this is that they are just another greenwashing like clothing brand that are claiming to be green and sustainable even though they're doing just the slightest to cut back on their waste. So for example, just the fact that they're still selling things for $16 that are mostly made of polyester and on top of that, they are saying that after you vote on it, it will be on the market, well, ready to ship in two weeks. That is the definition of fast fashion, right? I mean, that's fast fashion right there. Um, so ultimately they're just doing fast fashion in a more sustainable way. My question is how effective is their AI usage in their sustainability, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to add that. So this is just new territory, honestly. And I'm really interested to see how it goes throughout time. If we were gonna see more brands pop up like this, um, very interesting to me. I mean, the only thing that I see is that they seem kind of cheapy, just like the fabrics that they use on some, they do use more polyester. Like some products are mostly polyester and then some products are mostly cotton. So I'm very curious as to why and how everything is cheap, cheaper. Um, maybe it is just solely due to the fact that they don't overproduce things. I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Is this legit? Is it sustainable? Do you like it? Are you going to go buy something from it? I don't know. I'm intrigued still. I hope that this can be something that's actually revolutionary, um, even though it's been out for over a year and I don't know why it's not really talked about much more, but that's why I want to make a video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down below what you really liked on me if, or if you felt like you didn't like it or you, well, how, how do your, what, well, what are your thoughts, bitch? Tell me below. <laughs> oh. But I definitely enjoyed making this video and I got a lot to edit. So you guys have a beautiful day or night, wherever you are. And I hope to see you back for my next video and subscribe. If you're not, I make videos about well, anything I want, but mainly it's about fashion and lifestyle stuff and makeup maybe sometimes, you know. But that's for another time. <laughs> what am I doing? Alright, love you guys, bye.